papers. But before that, the debate over nude children in art has reignited. The latest edition of Art Monthly magazine features this picture of a naked six-year-old on its cover and several more provocative images inside. Now, the editor of the taxpayer-funded magazine says he wanted to validate nudity and childhood as subjects for art. Quite a, an innocent picture. It's really just the perception surrounding the pictures that are not so innocent. Unlike the Bill Henson case, police won't investigate this one. But the New South Wales government will refer the magazine to the Australian Classification Board. So is it art or child exploitation? Well, Danielle Miller works to combat the sexualisation of young girls. And Lynn Allison is a former senator and art teacher. So good morning to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Danielle, if I can start with you, the father <coughs> of the girl that's on the cover of this magazine, uh, Robert Nelson, he's an art critic for the, for the age. Mm. Now, he says his family has no regrets over the photos that were taken. He, he says it's, a, it's, it's work of art. Mm. What do you make of these latest pictures? They are highly sexual. The little girl's only six, so if we can't be outraged about highly sexualised photos of six-year-olds, what can we be outraged about? I think also the problem is not just that the little girl's naked. I mean, we may all have taken photos of our children playing at home in the bubbles or in the backyard pool, but she's posed in a highly adult way. Um, she's wearing adult jewellery, she's laying on her back, she's in a position that is not natural for a little girl to be in. And I think post-Senate inquiry into the sexualisation of children where the community quite clearly said we've had enough and we really need, allow, need to allow children to be children. This is just extreme and something that I think most Australians will be outraged about, including lots of members of the art community. Especially the comment where he, uh, he says it's to validate nudity and childhood as subjects for art. Does, does it why, do we, no, why do we need to validate childhood and nudity? I mean, they're not terms that you would imagine need to ever be used in the same sentence. You know, this sexualisation of children is something that's just got way out of control. The Senate quite clearly said in its recommendations that the community is outraged about this and it really did call mm. for uh, the media generally to be more responsible and more receptive to those community concerns. Now to me, uh, the editors of this magazine have just given a big, you know, thumbs up to that and not at all um, taken into account mm. the way we all feel about this and we really do need to put some some external restrictions in place because common sense is not prevailing obviously. Lynn you instigated a Senate inquiry into the sexualization of children in the media do you think these pictures do that do they go too far? Um, our inquiry focused more on advertising and images of children in the media. Uh, so to that extent it was, it was examining the harm done to, to children who view sexualised images. But um, of course in, a, in an art gallery, in a normal uh, environment, uh, not a lot of children would see those images. So there's, there's a slight difference mm -hmm. I think well between then, the two. Well then let's talk about this one. What do you think? Can, can nude pictures of a young child ever be justified as art. On the front cover of a magazine that's been distributed widely, do you think this is art or is it child pornography? Well, I think we get into very, very difficult areas here. Uh, I don't think that art should be exempt from all considerations about child sexu sexualisation, but I do think that overriding all of our judgment here, we need to ask the question, is a child being damaged by either seeing this imagery or being involved in its production? And I think if we stick to that principle, uh, obviously we don't want to look at pornographic images and art should again not be exempt from, from uh, standards, community standards there. But in this case, I think you have to ask that question. And my view is, my personal view, is that a six-year-old is rather different from an adolescent child. Um, six-year-olds play up, they, they play dress-ups, they... Uh, yeah, but they, naked? Sorry, oh, well. <laughs> sorry, this is a mother of a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm yes, sorry, yes, I didn't mention I, I understand the anxiety and, and I feel that too, particularly when it's such a sexualised image. But I, I think that once you reach adolescent, there is, the, the, that transition from childhood to adulthood is a much more vulnerable peri period in a child's time um, growing up. So th there are some differences, but... Um, 
it, it, it is still worrying, I, I absolutely agree. And, and people are concerned about this because there is a high level of abuse of children and children do seem to be becoming So can I get a yes or no, sooner. Lynn? Do, should they be banned or not? I mean, I know that it's a very difficult... Do you think it's gone too far? Ban them or, or should it be allowed to stay? I wouldn't ban them okay. because I think you, think you go down that path and you get into a lot of grey areas and it's very difficult. Right. So I stick to think it was a harm, what was harm done to a child. All right, Lynn, I take it, Danielle, you'd say ban them? And Absolutely. Okay. And in terms of the response, was there harm done to a child? Well, we don't know yet. She's only six. It would be interesting to see what happens as she reaches adolescence. A six-year-old isn't in a position to make decisions about whether they'd like to be posed in a highly sexualised way and have their bodies exposed like that. You know, children are not there as our commodities. We do not have the right to use them to make political statements and we don't have the right to use them to sell product. Thank you very much for joining us both of you. Danielle, Lynn, thanks for your time. Thank you.